My name is Peter Schurers. I'm a research scientist here within the University of Queensland Centre for Clinical Research. Um, I'm focusing on a, a project which looks at the involvement of a common virus called Epstein-Barr virus in the etiology of multiple sclerosis. Now it's a very common virus in that most people, 90% of people, um, have exposure to the virus and mount very good strong immune responses against that virus and keep it at a very basal level. But we have some evidence that patients with MS might not be able to control that virus as well and it could be causing problems. If we can definitively show that people with MS have a reduced ability to control the virus, we can provide more of a direct link into that virus's involvement in MS. Um, down the track, perhaps there may be vaccinations against the virus or ways in drugs which can control the, the way that the virus replicates, which may be very helpful for people with MS and possibly even, in fact, other autoimmune diseases. I'm also working with Casey Fluger, who's a research scientist here within the UQCCR as well. Casey is instrumental in helping with growing um, lymphoblastoid cell lines, which are virally infected cells. Uh, these, this is an example of what happens when the virus infects human B lymphocytes. They, they become transformed and they, they keep proliferating. Um, they're called lymphoblastoid cell lines. And our research actually looks at each um, healthy control patient as well as MS patients' ability to kill these virally infected cells. And that is exactly what we're doing using immunological assays. Casey's role is to help with the job of growing these, these cells in tissue culture and also preparing cells for flow cytometry analysis. There is a strong possibility that vaccination against Epstein-Barr virus could be a, a successful treatment for MS. We just need to know more about how it all works and so that we can, we can justify the development of, of that type of vaccination. And there are, uh, is work being done currently on developing a vaccination for EBV because it doesn't just have a role in, in MS, it also has a role in other diseases such as uh, there's a, a quite a large group of cancers that are triggered by Epstein-Barr virus.